Hello, it's Candace with Gentle Yoga for Everyone. Now that spring is here, many of us are taking to the outdoors for our fitness and wellness. Today I'm at Yellow River Park and I'm going to lead an outdoor yoga practice. So I'm going to walk up a little further and set up my mat. Right along the river, there's a gorgeous view. And that's what I like to encourage um, everyone to do when they're doing yoga outside. Just pick a nice scenery landscape that you can enjoy while you're focusing on going inward, connecting breath with heart. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we're gonna to start in what is called cobbler pose. We'll have the soles of our feet touching, our arms relaxing on top of legs with heart lifted. We'll take our inhales through our nose and begin to lift the spine up, breathing deep. On the exhale, we're gonna keep our heart lifted, guide the navel in, make a sound as we release. So on the inhale, Focus on flow of breath. Focus on how your chest is rising. On the exhale, guide your navel in and notice your heart energy. The next breath allows the arms to flow upward. And in this cobbler pose, gravity is engaging the hips, increasing the range of motion in the hip mobility. Now we'll rotate the arms in so the palms face each other and guide them closer so our palms will touch. Elbows begin to soften and flow to bending. We're breathing deep. We'll place our thumbs in front of our sternum, relax our shoulders, and connect with the pulsing of the heart. From here, let's allow the knees to flow upward. Soles of the feet will connect with the mat will guide the arms to release forward and arms will lower. From here, we can turn sideways and prepare for a boat sequence. We'll use our arms to embrace our thighs, begin to walk the feet closer to the backside. Take a breath, lift the feet up, lift your heart as your feet rise. And now the left foot can lift and the leg will straighten, and then we'll bend the knee. The next breath guides opposite foot to rise, and then we will flow back to bending the knee. From here, we can guide the left arm to straighten, right arm to straighten. Notice how the heart stays lifted. We keep all the length in our spine. The next breath guides the left leg to straighten, and we can use the left hand to Encourage the leg to stay lifted. And now the opposite foot rises. And this is a variation of our full boat pose. A wonderful way to engage the abdominal wall. It's also good for our pelvic floor. And each time we hollow the belly, we're engaging our diaphragm. So many benefits in this boat pose. From here, we'll take a cleansing breath. And as we exhale, we're gonna release the legs, guide the legs to lower, the body lowers. And we're just gonna hover. Squeeze your glutes, engage your glute muscles, and keep your navel pulling inward. And this is called the half boat pose. From here, we'll guide knees to bend. We're gonna lift our heart up. Wrap the arms around the thighs and lower the feet onto the mat. Release the legs, hands behind the back, legs begin to straighten and we'll flow to what is called the staff pose. So we're gonna lift the heart nice and long. Our elbows are straight, our fingers are pointing in the same direction as our feet and our toes are 
flexing and pulling towards the body. In the staff pose, we're improving our posture. We're strengthening muscles in the back. We're also toning up our leg muscles because the kneecaps are squeezing. From here, allow the palms to slide forward towards the feet. We begin to lift the arms. Palms face inward. We'll take a cleansing breath, lifting our heart up. And as we exhale, we're gonna fold forward and release. And as we release forward, we're guiding the heart to flow towards the toes, which are flexing. We're guiding our navel inward. We're lowering without straining. We're just going with gravity. We're listening to our bodies, allowing the bodies to be soft and relaxed. As we concentrate on the flow of breath and also the beating of our heart. From here, we're going to focus on our heart and we're gonna take a breath and begin to lift the heart up. As the heart rises, the body rises, the arms flow upward. Remember to keep your heart lifted, invite length into your spine. And on your exhale, release the arms with the palms facing forward, actively squeeze your elbows. Be fluid and breathe deep. We're going to guide the arms to lower all the way down. Rotate the fingers so they point in the same direction as the feet. Slide your arms back and the middle finger is about an inch from your backside. From here, we're going to bend our left knee. The sole of the foot will touch the mat. We can use the left arm to lift the foot and place it on the front side of the straight leg. Now we'll lift the left arm up. And as we exhale, rotate your body towards the front of the room and bend your left elbow, keeping the heart lifted for a full spinal twist. Now your left foot is flexing and the heart is lifted. From here, we'll take a breath and we're going to straighten the bending arm, untwist. Use the hand to lift the foot, uncross. Leg straightens and then we'll flow to the other side, bending knees. So we can do the same flow other side. From here, the right knee bends we use our hand to lift the foot, place it on the outside of the straight leg. Arms flow overhead. As we exhale, we'll bend now our right elbow. We're lifting our heart up. We're guiding our navel inward. And the opposite foot is now flexing for a full spinal twist. This is a great way to care for our bodies, to strengthen the spinal cord, to engage the hips and shoulders all at the same time. From here, let's take a cleansing breath through our nose and begin to straighten the bending elbow, lift the left arm. Our fingertips will rise towards the sky. We're gonna untwist, returning to neutral. So we can lift the bending knee, lower arms, all the way down, guide knees to bending. We'll flow now to easy pose. So we're crossing our legs in front. We're just sitting in any comfortable seated position with our heart lifted. Allow the arms to extend out and rise overhead. More breath, guides the arms to rotate in and come closer, palms touch, elbows bend, keep breathing. We're gonna connect with heart center and take a cleansing breath. As we exhale, we're gonna release and fold forward. Let's remember to be kind to others, 
and be kind to our bodies, be gentle to our bodies. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you everybody for tuning in and please stay tuned for more videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on your mat soon. Have a beautiful day.